of the Cowichan School District, but it was hardly a typical gathering. Today at a Mill Bay High School, a student walkout got out of hand. Some young people ended up fist fighting on the front lawn. We'll bring you that story in a moment, but first, what the school district plans to do about the growing problems at Francis Kelsey Secondary and its flexible learning system. I talked to so many people who really disagreed with the whole idea. Assessing what happened on Wednesday afternoon. That's what students, parents, and trustees focus most of their time on during the school district meeting. Most spoke in favor of the individualized learning program at Francis Kelsey. There were concerns. The kids, there are uh, some kids, quite a few kids that are quite a ways behind in their work, and they're stressed. And um, some families are having problems as a result of this, trying to coordinate things with their kids, trying to get their kids to do homework, and, and it's, it's causing problems at home. Today, push more people over to the sane side, I think. The people that were, they didn't want to participate in something that was so immature and useless. I have no idea what their agenda is, but I would really like the school to become a closed entity for a period of time to let our students heal and to let our school get on with it. Even before Wednesday's incident at the school, the agenda for this meeting had already been drawn up. One presentation was an action plan from staff. Their response to a report which asked students, staff, and parents about how they thought the new learning program was going. I think it would be appropriate uh, if the board uh, supported or, or uh, voted in favor of the action plan, but must point out that there are some implications for you. The action plan was passed unanimously by the board. The key recommendations going into effect immediately. I think the, the, one of the main things that parents were looking for was some structure for those that need it. And um, because this isn't about changing the school to be one thing or the other. It's how can we provide different types of structures within that school. So now there's going to be four classes that will be very structured. And uh, I, I think that will alleviate some immediate concerns. In Duncan, T12, Tech 6 News. The school board meeting comes several hours after nearly 800 students walked out of a secondary school in Mill Bay. Most of them didn't leave by choice. Some say it was a near riot. Others say it was merely a few dissidents making trouble at a school that's too modern for them. 150 walked out at 9 and the rest when the fire alarm sounded. The alarm and two more were false, but succeeded in quadrupling the size of the crowd outside. The police were called and order was restored in about an hour. Yeah, I was expelled from school for working at my own pace. I wasn't working up to the standards, but they don't have any standards, so what are they talking about? No doubt. That's the only reason? Um, that and I was listening to the teachers and never took any of their there's like only a like a small majority of the school that can work on the system. And they're doing great, like that's good, but the rest of us... At the end of November, the College and School District released a report that they had done by educational consultant Bill Jury in the teacher advisor's questionnaire. The student's progress was rated, rated uh, barely satisfactory, poor, or very poor, by some 60% of those polls. And the overall system here was rated barely satisfactory by 57%. 35% of those polled thought the workload was overwhelming. My daughter is one of the students that they like to tout as one of their success stories. The problem is she's becoming very stressed out with the workload that she's doing, essentially educating herself. But not everyone thinks Francis Kelsey Secondary is failing in its own role. It's an incredibly beautifully built building full of dedicated staff who are just doing a wonderful job right now. You learn more to fend for yourself and to, about responsibility and how to cope with everything. Will we see a more structured system in the new year at Francis Kelsey? I think you're going to see some structured classes, but some students need that real structured guidance. And so um, certainly I think that will be part of the recommendations. The free learning program at Francis Kelsey Secondary is but two months old. You don't throw a baby away after two months. It just doesn't make sense because it has to grow. Bruce Kirkpatrick, Check 6 News, Cobble Hill. Residents of a burned-out Senate apartment building went back to the...